Hi, I'm Sam, Technical Sales and Support Engineer here at Digico. In this video, we will be going over the latest updates to our Digico console software. For those who haven't upgraded recently, here's a recap of what was released in version 19 last year, alongside a set of performance improvements, more of which can be found in the release notes on our website, we released four new features for our console software. First, we added in support for the new sound device's A20 Opto IO expansion unit, meaning you can easily add the new sound device's Super Nexus wireless receiver into your optical loop. Second, we implemented a global tap tempo entry for our onboard effects racks. You can choose whether each effects unit is tied to the global tap tempo or not, and which division or multiplication of that global tap tempo it uses. The tap tempo can be set either in the effects rack or by a dedicated macro control. Third, we have implemented a new external control device called Macro OSC. This allows you to transmit custom OSC messages from the console across your network, perfect for firing lighting cues or placing markers in your recording DAW. Finally, we have revamped and added new functionality within our macro panel itself you are now able to search for a particular parameter when building your macros. We have implemented new ways for triggering a macro, so have tabbed the different options to give a better layout. There are two new ways to trigger a macro. As part of a snapshot recall, or by specific fader thresholds, specific meter levels, or by pressing the solo button. Some examples of real-world use for these would be triggering your global tap tempo from a click track meter, with the macro triggering every time that channel had a pre-trim level over a certain threshold, changing an effect send from post-fade to pre-fade once the channel fader is greater than 0 dB, meaning that above a certain output volume, the effects level would not increase. And on Quantum 2, 3, and 8, you can even set up that your console meter bridge light changes color every time audio is heard down a shout line, perfect for getting the attention of engineers mixing out at front of house. 